Hello, this video is sponsored by BritBox, the premier streaming service for Britain's most beloved TV shows. I'm Lawrence Brown and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to squirrels, specifically grey squirrels, or as it's spelled in Britain, grey squirrels. Approximately 57 years ago, at the beginning of 2023, you may recall that I did a video in which I showed you around my garage, and in that very video, I briefly mentioned that we inherited a squirrel problem. I also incorrectly informed you that that problem had been taken care of. Because over the last few weeks and months amid becoming a US citizen, buying my first American house and letting a dog enter my life, we've also had to deal with the inimitable sound of rodents scratching at wood. And that's fine when they're out there in their natural habitat, climbing trees and eating nuts, but it's not so fine when they're in here and eating the roof. That's right, this infestation of grey squirrels has been happening up this ladder. I don't mean that they've been using the ladder. They might have been using the ladder. Should we remove the ladder? That could help. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do that now. So come with me as I go up the ladder and potentially recreate the match between Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 10. So this is the sort of place they've been hanging out, is up here in these rafters. And the problem is, it's not just one squirrel, but a whole family of them. The other problem is, when you go to make a video all about this problem, the squirrels are usually going to hiding because, you know, you're a big terrifying giant, I'm referring to myself here. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to come out to play. And even if they do, they'll make me jump and fall off a ladder with a camera in my hand. Anyway, to combat the problem, we got in touch with a local company that specializes in infestations. I've just realized that sounds like a terrible business strategy. What I mean is they specialize in taking care of infestations. But how do you do that? How do you remove a population of squirrels that are hell-bent on not being found? Well, one thing that they've done is to install these traps. The traps themselves contain walnuts, which is a great way of luring the squirrel, or me, after midnight. And once the squirrel enters, there's a little mechanism right there that closes is the trap and then they can be removed. And that raises the question, couldn't this just go on indefinitely? Might an infinite number of squirrels keep entering my garage and entering those traps? What am I gonna do? Call the beaver people, as they're affectionately known to me, every single time it happens from now until the end of time? No, because the thing is, the beaver people, or the infestation company, have instituted a supplementary tactic in which we can measure whether or not squirrels are entering or exiting the garage. At first they were coming in through this window but thankfully the people that installed our garage door were kind enough to nail this piece of wood to the window and so far they haven't chewed through it and by that I mean the squirrels not the garage door people we thought this fixed the problem it didn't so when the beaver people turned up for the very first time the absolute first thing they did was check the garage for openings thankfully no daylight was coming in through the roof so too the other windows I've just realized there's a lot of daylight, but there are no holes. And then it dawned on them. The garage door. Uh, that was a bad transition. Anyway, when I'm not checking on my garage to make sure that it's still there, I need some time to unwind. Thank goodness then for BritBox. Ironically, BritBox is the streaming service through which I binge Countryfile, the very show that alerted me to the behaviour of grey squirrels in Britain, but more on that behaviour later. The latest BritBox original is The Confessions of Franny Langton, a four-part drama set in the early 19th century. This arresting show follows the character of Franny, a maid and former slave, who is accused of murdering her employers, leading her to fight for the truth. And on a more personal note, it even has a quick cameo from Gareth, an old theatre friend of mine from Grimsby. It sure took me back to my first ever play. Anyway, you can start streaming this title today, as well as your other favourite British shows via your smartphone, tablet, desktop, Chromecast, Apple TV or Roku device, as well as LG and Samsung smart TVs. Head to BritBox.com slash Lost in the Pond and use the promo code Lost in the Pond when signing up for a monthly subscription and you'll get 50% off your first month. The link is also in my description below. So to keep tabs on whether squirrels have been coming in or going out of the garage, the beaver people put these bits of card and paper in there. If the next day these bits are still there, we know that the squirrel has not been going through the hole. The longer this goes on without any squirrels in the trap, Bob's your uncle, you've solved the problem. I wish it was that easy. But these f***ers are relentless. Over the last few weeks and months, entry into the garage has usually been met with the sound of 
Just to be clear, that is the sound of the squirrel in the rafters, but also the demonic squirrel from my nightmares. But just as seemingly countless squirrels have been getting into my garage, one or two of them have been getting into the traps. When this happens, I call up the beaver people who turn up, remove the squirrel, and then set the trap anew. This isn't a real phone. And after catching about six or seven of these, you'd think we'd be done. And for about a week there, we were. Well, none of the cardboard had been removed from the garage door this morning, meaning that no new squirrels had gotten in. But, and you're gonna need to take a look at this, this is fresh damage, presumably from a squirrel trying to escape, meaning there's a squirrel in here right now. There's no choice. I've got to call the beaver people. And according to my invisible watch, it's been about three weeks since that incident. And during that time, there have been no new recorded cases of grey squirrels entering or exiting the garage. Which means that we might be turning a corner. This is particularly likely since we're embarking very quickly upon spring. You see, the thing that I forgot to mention is that the very reason that grey squirrels have been hiding out in my garage is merely to survive the Chicago winter, and on that score I can completely relate. And at this point in the video, it's important for me to stop and reflect on something that's been itching me for the past few minutes. Amid the sound of rustling, I can faintly hear my fellow Americans furiously typing away on their keyboards. Woo! Lawrence, why do you keep referring to them as grey squirrels when they're technically known as eastern grey squirrels due to their prominence in the eastern United States? This is correct. In fact, if you wanted a map that perfectly splits the country in half, you could do worse than to look at the habitat range of the eastern grey squirrel. In news that is completely and utterly a little bit related, forestation in the United States follows a similar pattern. But the eastern grey squirrel range map from a moment ago is incomplete. To see the entire picture, you'd have to pinch out to view the whole planet. Where once such a map indicated a habitat found only in North America, this all changed 150 years ago. It was then that some clever Burke decided to send grey squirrels to Great Britain and other parts of Europe. Thanks in no small part to humans, grey squirrels ended up pushing out our beloved red squirrels to the point where most of them ended up in a place where red hair is thankfully quite popular, Scotland. And because American geography is less important to the daily lives of us Brits, the eastern part was dropped and they simply became known as grey squirrels, but with an E. So that then begs the question, do garages in Britain have to put up with this malarkey? And the answer is yes. When I went home recently, I was speaking to my great uncle and he was telling me that grey squirrels broke into his house, which would be a crime if humans did it. So in many ways, these lawless squirrels have it easy. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you've encountered this problem yourselves. I'm in pain from falling on my hip. I hope the squirrels don't turn me into a banquet. That's it for this episode. I'm Lawrence Brown. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to look around my garage in greater depth, then I highly recommend watching this video next. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. And a massive thank you to my patrons who make these videos possible. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond and join my weekly secret live streams, you can do so today at patreon.com slash lostinthepond. Until the next video, goodbye.